Hey guys, how are we doing today? Today's video, I want to go over a few different things. It might seem like in today's video that we're bouncing around a lot, but I want to have a main focus in this if I possibly can. First things first, I want to talk about some stuff for GAC. I'm going to make a video, I think today's going to be a Thursday, so in the next either Friday or Saturday for videos, I will be publishing uh, something with GAC for counters and teams you can kind of remod to stop other big counters but kind of start that whole thing off a little bit of a preview to that video is sith empire uh i'm not sure why it took so long to to think about that but sith empire um i guess just sith in general right these guys are pretty awesome right now especially with darth talon um if you guys would have known earlier for this team in a gac setting is to set darth maul not the conquest maul but the darth maul from episode one this mall with the leadership on the, you know, the Zeta lead, giving some TM and all that extra bonuses. You don't actually need to have the Zeta on the, on the leadership to work well for GAC, but if you have that, that's probably another good option to use in GAC with the Sith Empire to stop some of those Darth Revan, or rather those, uh, those troopers or, you know, whatever else we might have to um, use. Usually, you know, right now in the game, the two big non- uh, counters to like a mirror match for Darth Revan are either, I would say, at least troopers or bounty hunters. So uh, TM lead with Maul giving out that TM to the Sith, it kind of stops the, the bounty hunters because they can't go before and also stops the troopers. However, you can still get around that um, with a Malak in your trooper team because Malak stops TM on the Sith. So it works that way. You can counter that team. So I wouldn't actually recommend the Darth Maul. And what I'm going to say the next is what I would recommend. And here's what I'm going to say. It might sound a little crazy, but Darth Talon is really good, actually, even at a gear 7 or gear 8 um, level for gear. Because in her Sith Cruelty Unique, she gives, it says right here, at the start of the battle, um, Darth Talon gains stealth for one turn. And then it says Sith allies gain 30% max health, 30% offense, and 20 extra speed. Right there, that 20 speed is huge for Sith. So this is a team that I would use personally in GAC if you guys want to stop those Darth Revens, those, yeah, near match Darth Revens or the Bounty Hunters or some Troopers. Um, so here's the team I'd use. It's just pretty simple. Darth Revan leadership with Darth Talon, Darth Malak, Bast Lashawn, and then tossing in the fifth being Sith Empire Trooper. So the only way you can really counter this if you want to use uh, like a not like a super strong team, like no gas um, no CLS, I would probably end up using troopers, but troopers can only kill this if you outspeed the Darth Revan. So right now, for example, I remodded mine for GAC is at 355. So with that 20 speed bonus, 375. So for the troopers to kill a 375 Darth Revan, um, that would take a Pia or a, not a Pia, a Gideon to be around like three, you know, same speed because he gets 20 speed from the Veer's lead as well, or the unique. So you pretty much have to outspeed a Darth Revan to uh, to make the trooper counter work. But even then, it still might not work depending on the relics and the modding of a Sith Empire trooper, which I'll go into in a different video. Talking more about tanks and mods, you will gotta you'll need a farm to make some of these teams for GAC be even that much more better. Same for TW. It's very interesting right now in these uh, these remods. GAC and TW go a lot more hand in hand than you might have thought before. Um, I I would say a big reason why is because GAC, you know, the non GL counters, two GLs, they're no they're no longer really a thing anymore. And I feel like a big reason why they feel like they're in the same mode almost is because of that reason. Um, they're not entirely the same mode, but for I would say a good chunk they are. I, if you're going to remod for TW, then that same remod will do you justice in the GAC. Anyways, it's a different topic. Just set Darth Talon with Darth Revan and making sure your Darth Revan super fast. It's going to stop a lot of those really good counters. The counters that are ones you don't want to have happen to your Darth Revan. Anyways, that's kind of that whole first part of the video. The next part I want to go after is something to do with, where is she? Mara Jade. I'm actually going to put these guys on my favorites. She looks so good. Um, same with Starkiller. They both look phenomenal. Um, it's pretty obvious that Starkiller is very similar to a Boba Fett, Sion of Django, in terms of he is like a GL inside of that game mode with the Omicron, which for him, Starkiller is GAC. 
Um, for Boba Fett, that is for Territory War. He is super awesome. He's elevated to a new height with the Omicrons. So the one thing I want to talk about and bring up right now in this video was a screenshot. Um, not, I guess, screenshot. It was a message from uh, the people over at... Um, Operation Metaverse that got the nice little uh, reveal and they got the interview with the devs about Mara Jade. Um, guys, to sum this up without really quoting every single word, Mara Jade is literally going to almost just destroy teams that are non-GLs. They actually had to put in in their kit, by the way. She had to get some things taken out, you know, like for example, let's see, where is it exactly? There's one thing here I wanted to mention, like about non-GLs, because they had to put this thing that excludes GLs, because if it if it didn't exclude GLs, then she was able to kill GLs. Um, so I'm trying to remember exactly where this is. I, I'm probably forgetting it. It might be this whole clause with a TW stuff. Yeah, right here, the start of the battle. If the enemy leader, leader is not a GL, they lose. So this is the whole clause they had to add into the Omicron. So pretty much right there, if that wasn't there, the whole, uh, wherever it is, uh, there it is. Okay, very bottom. The whole thing, if there's not a GL, that was originally not there. They had to add that on. Anyways, um, that's one thing. And another thing, basically, Palp beats anything not a GL. And then also, she is, I want to say, 192 base speed or around 190 base speed, which is insane. You have now a top tier team that is a separate team with EP lead and Darth Revan or Darth Vader, rather. And then it says Mara goes first. Mara J goes first. She drops all those debuffs. You guys know how she works with, with like Darth Vader. She gets the whole team up and running ASAP. Super, super good. And then also... Um, Gom in his testing, he was, uh, I'm not sure if it was his testing or if something else I heard, but I was told by an anonymous person, I'm not going to say her name, but that Mara Jade with Starkiller, they are really, really strong together. Um, so that's another thing to, uh, to mention, I feel like. I would say though, really any of those four marquees that we got leading up to Starkiller, phenomenal. The one I would say is not the best one in terms of the others and, and how those others work would be Dash Rendar, but most of Dash's kit is going to be really, really screaming, you know, awesomeness in GAC, but we don't, we don't know that yet because we have no GAC going on right now. But I love Kyle. I love Darth Talon. I love Marjade. Hopefully, we'll see. I don't have her unlocked yet. She's out today. Um, and yeah, I, I just can't, there's nothing bad to say about any of those four really. Um, but yeah, Mara Jade's going to be phenomenal with Empire. She's going to be phenomenal with Lord Vader, with Starkiller. Those two guys, those three rather, Lord Vader, Starkiller, and Mara Jade, they're going to be very strong. Um, and it's really nice to see that because it gives the Maul Conquest, um, let's point out where he is, this guy, it gives him some more flexibility and freedom to go in different teams, which is really what I wanted. Um, there's a team right now in the game for GAC, which is phenomenal, with Maul lead, Django Fett, Beskar Mando, Watt, and then Canris Ordo. That five can be an offensive powerhouse, killing a lot of strong stuff in the game. I want to say it can kill gases and some Darth Revens and uh, what else? I'm forgetting. It can it can it kill a lot, kill a lot because with that team, Watt gives the, the tech out to somebody, and that triggers the frenzy off of Maul. If you guys haven't seen it, it's kind of how that works. And then he has a bunch of extra hits he can do with his Seething Rage special ability. Also fun in Conquest. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys, for today. Actually, we'll show that off in Conquest if I can. Um, the Seething Rage with Maul. Super fun. But yeah, I guess to sum this up in my, my video, is talking about some different teams for GAC. I'll, like I said, I'll do a whole video talking about that later on um, because I think it's worth mentioning. So we got that. Um, the, the Darth Talon little team I love. It's a super strong team with Sith Empire. Uh, TW, uh, you can use it there. You can use it GAC. Got to just make sure that uh, <laughs> you don't fight any any guys that have a faster uh, Moth Gideon. That's one thing you got to kind of be, be aware of, right? Um, but it should be totally okay in really any other regards for defense. It's going to pull something pretty strong. Um, one thing people might want to be doing is, especially with other teams such as Kyle Katarn Mon Mothma, is setting it in the front wall and then setting a gas in the back wall to bait out some CLSs. Um, because a Kyle Katarn team is actually very strong, even if you have them at gear 11 or 12. So 
A lot of things to kind of consider here. But here's the mall team to wrap up today's video. Let's go after Mr. Piet. This guy sucks. I hate him. <laughs> Try to get him out as soon as possible. And down he goes. Sick. Anyways, this, this is the whole team. If you guys want, I can do some more conquest videos. But for those, just let me know what you guys exactly want. Because right now, I feel like I've published and done a lot. Maybe you guys want um, some specific um, uh, feats done in videos. Maybe like a whole on Sector 2 feat for, for the bosses, for the Sector feats themselves. All the feats, maybe that's what you guys want to see. But you guys let me know down below in the comments, okay? That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace out and have a good one. Bye, guys.